Okay, what is a virus? There are many biological agents living in our environment and also actually on us, on our body. Virus is a biological agent. They are very small, our eyes cannot see. So imagine our whole body will actually be a very huge planet for them, a whole new world. Now not just virus, we have bacteria, we have fungus, we have virus, we have yeast all over our bodies. So bacteria, fungus, virus, yeast and all these, they are just like humans. Bacteria, fungus and yeast are alive. So they need to eat, they need to go to the toilet, and when they eat a lot of things, they also produce a lot of chemicals. And more importantly, they can produce their own babies, just like humans. Now virus is a different story. Virus is also a biological agent, but it is not alive. It cannot eat, it cannot produce chemicals like bacteria, and it definitely cannot produce babies. So, virus needs a host to produce the next generation of babies. Animals can be hosts, insects can be hosts, humans can be hosts. So virus are actually using us as factories to produce their babies. So let's say that this guy has the flu, could be any flu, and here's a droplet from his sneeze containing, if we move in and take a really close look, you see each one of those little purple things is a virus. Here comes the virus, and it's gonna land on one of this guy's throat cells. So notice it's covered with little yellow knobby things, that you, you call these keys, right? If the keys on this virus happen to fit the locks, which are those little uh, purpley hiccupy things on the surface of the cell, if there is a match, the cell, watch this, welcomes the virus in. Structure disperses and the virus capsule bursts and out comes the secret recipe for how to make more viruses. So it's a copying machine making copy. Here they come. This is an eruption of viruses after only one virus entered the cell. But how many came out? Well, millions. Now we know, in order for a virus to use our bodies as reproduction of babies producing factories, they need a suitable key and lock combination. So, just like humans, we have many different types of keys. We have keys for our cars, for our house, for our offices, many different doors. So are viruses. Different viruses will have different keys on their bodies and they attack hosts with these suitable doors only. Thus, some viruses can harm animals only, but not humans, because only these animals have the suitable doors and therefore they can enter, but humans don't. Some viruses can jump from animals to humans. Why? Well, since we don't have the doors anyway, so how can those viruses enter us? One good example is the H1N1 virus. It actually originated from swine, and it was detected in 1918. Viruses can mutate, and they can change, for example, changing their keys. Just like humans, if we cannot enter our office door one day, we will change our key, and we can open the door. So once a virus mutates and change the key, they can enter our door. Sometimes, a virus goes through different hosts and along that processes, they change or mutate.